Hello and welcome. Now, if you know your Chanel from your Alison McQueen and your Sonos from your Bang & Olsen, then this is for you because the results of the Cool Brand Survey 2015 are out. And I'm joined by Stephen Tilliotis, who is the chairman of the Cool Brands Council in the UK. Stephen, thank you very much for being here. Pleasure. Um, now, we look forward to this list every year, um, and there's a right impressive bunch of brands there in the top 20, which is what we're going to talk about today. The top five, just so we know for the record this year, are Apple at the top again, mm-hmm. uh, Ray-Bans, Glastonbury, Nike and Netflix, which very much sounds like my own personal internet shopping list. Um, but let's talk about Apple now. What makes Apple so cool and why is it the, the top brand for the fourth year running? Stylish products, highly desired, innovative, uh, got a lot of buzz. Obviously, aside from the new iPhones, iPads, etc., we've got Apple Music, Apple Pay. Yeah. So, you know, people are just there and they want them. And I guess the only other point is that a lot of brands in this survey polarise opinion between the opinion formers, tastemakers, and the general British public. Whereas actually Apple, whether you are you know, a top DJ, musician, actor, or your joke blogs on the street, you equally recognise them and go, yeah, I like that brand, I like that product. So Beats, the purchase of Beats haven't done them any damage then? No, absolutely not. No. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, let's move on because I think another one of the interesting trends from the top 20 is the changes of the guard, so to speak, where you have, uh, I guess, a, a surge of new tech companies like your Netflix mm. and your Sonos um, who have come into the top 20, but no place for Bose this year. Yep. No place for Sony, both dropped out to the top 20. Yep. Can we explain that at all? Yeah, I mean, Bose and Sony and various other sort of heritage brands, much loved, very much at the top of their game for years and years. So they've got a lot of goodwill, but actually through the last sort of decade or so, that goodwill has been ebbing away. They're not seen quite to be so cutting edge, yep. so exciting as some of these news players that are coming in and disrupting the market. So, so it's not overnight, but you're definitely seeing the likes of Sonos replacing the Bang & Olufsen's and the Sony, or the Netflix replacing some of the old guard media. So, um, yeah, there is a changing in the guard, but it's happening over a a few-year period. Okay, good. Well, listen, we're going to ask you to put your neck on the line now. I'm going to ask you to gaze into your brand crystal ball. Uh, Imagine the year is uh, uh, 2020. Yeah. Um, And who's top of the list? God, I'd probably say something like Aston Martin, do you know what I mean? I mean, You heard it here first, people. I'd love to say it's going to be some great new innovative brand that hasn't even been invented yet. And yes, probably in the top 20, there will be a couple of brands that haven't been invented yet that will come in and revolutionise things and capture attention very quickly. Um, Equally, there'll be brands like the Ubers and so on, uh, the Netflix that kind of keep growing up in terms of their goodwill, consolidating their position. But look, the likes of Chanel, the likes of... Nike, the likes of Glastonbury, they'll still be there and thereabouts. Unless something disastrous happens, they're great brands. Yeah. Okay, well listen, the top 20 list is out, go and check it out. It should be your personal go-to uh, shopping list, even if you like. Uh, mm-hmm. Stephen Chiliotis, Chairman of Cool Brands Council, thank you very much. Pleasure, thank you.